The evening rush hour again backed up with the shore way close to Captain America filming. And get this, commute times this morning in some cases tripled. We have live team coverage. First, here's News Channel 5's John Kosick, who was in the middle of all the traffic. John, how is it going right now? Yeah, we are playing Leon, the role of the downtown employee who got out of 5 o'clock tonight. We're moving, we got moving around 516. It took us about 20 minutes, though, to get from the Justice Center three tenths of a mile to East 9th Street, where we sped up comparatively, where we went another three tenths of a mile in about 10 minutes, half the time. Now, we got on 90 West, though, about 550, 34 minutes into our commute. Uh, there, once we did, it was pretty much smooth sailing on 90 itself until we merged with 490 traffic just before the West 41st Street exit, three miles into the trip. But even then, the volume only slowed us to about 30 miles an hour. Uh, once we hit the West 117th Street exit, 40 minutes into our commute, it was smooth sailing. And as you see right now, as we're coming up uh, on Clay Road, it looks like uh, we are having no troubles on this commute. So the bottom line was it took us 34 minutes to get out of downtown. Once we were able to make our way to 90, though, it has been smooth sailing heading west into the western suburbs. Reporting live in western Cuyahoga County, I guess you could say, John Kosick, News Channel 5. John Kosick on the road again, finally. Well, News Channel 5's Deborah Lee joins us right now. And Deb, you spoke to drivers and some local business owners today. Okay, it's been a few days now. How do they feel now about the shutdown? Well, some of the people we spoke to today said it seems like it's a little better today than it was on Friday. You can't prove that, though, by some of these drivers we're seeing out here in front of the Science Center. They've been stuck in traffic. Traffic has been moving slowly out here since about 4.30. A limo driver just went by us and yelled out the window. He said, this is a mess. But a lot of people seem to be a little more relaxed today and seem ready to just go with the flow for the next couple of weeks. People who drive into Cleveland to work have already saved the date. June 14th. The day the West Shoreway reopens to traffic. The filming of Captain America, which shut down the Shoreway, is really adding some time to the rush hour commute. Maybe another 45 minutes or so. It's normally about a 10 minute ride and it was about 35 minutes. Even during the noon hour, traffic was somewhat heavier than normal along the Detroit Avenue detour route. It's, it's a hassle, you know. It's Look at it. It's a mess. No one knows what to do out here. It's a couple of weeks. We can live with it. It's no worse than the bad weather in the winter. So. Businesses tell me traffic is moving better here in Cleveland's Gordon Square area because of the rush hour parking ban. And at this coffee shop, the traffic has actually been good for business. People were stopped in front of the shop and it was like, you know, they were over it. So they were coming up from their cars and getting coffees and stuff and running back. There is one thing commuters are asked to remember through all of this. Emergency vehicles have to get through the traffic too, so still try to pull over to the right if possible. If the situation arises where um, that apparatus or that EMS vehicle just cannot get through because of the massive traffic flow, they're in constant contact with dispatch and another apparatus is sent from a different location to respond. And Gray told me they did have a situation where an EMS vehicle was stuck in the gridlock and they had to go to that backup plan and call for another vehicle to make that run. Live in Cleveland, Deborah Lee, News Channel 5.